Good morning, Britain. Doctors abused and a hospital under guard. Dozens of police are right now outside Alderhey Hospital as terminally ill Alfie Evans continues to cling to life. This morning, there are reports that staff have been intimidated by protesters with their life. A pact to cut plastic. Britain's biggest brands vow to ditch single-use packaging by 2025. This morning, charities are claiming it's a huge step forward, but is seven years too long to wait? The everyday prescription pills, which could cause dementia. Today, a new report reveals that many increase the risk of developing the degenerative disease. And sorry seems to be the hardest word as Elton John hits back at Rod Stewart's claim. The Rocketman's farewell tour is just an attempt to sell tickets. This morning, we'll hear exclusively from Sir Elton. It's not a publicity stunt because I am saying goodbye to tour. I've had enough. Thursday, 26th of April, 2018. Live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Ben Shepherd and Susanna Reid. Hi there, good morning. It's just gone six o'clock. Good morning to you. Morning to you. Have they, have they, have they dried your fingernails yet? Oh, yeah, sorry. It's just, um, <laughs> just last minute. Last minute I'm, I'm, I'm high on the fumes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're, not, you're not allowed to do nail varnish on a plane. Really? Yeah. I, mean, I don't think you should be able to do nail varnish here on the desk, quite Is frankly. It flammable? It's a much bigger studio now. The, the toxic fumes <laughs> have dispersed. We're much closer to her, aren't we, oh, Alex? sorry. It could go horribly wrong. Look, you're <laughs> going to send me off. I'm going to start nodding off in a stupor. Much like Prince William yesterday. Oh, uh, new dad syndrome. At the Anzac uh, celebration and remembrance uh, yesterday at Westminster, uh, Prince William turned up. There he is with his brother and his soon-to-be sister-in-law. Uh, but he nodded off. Yeah. Or was he just contemplating? Well, yes. What uh, do we think? He's that... contemplating baby names. No, ah. what, no, you know what he's contemplating? He's, he's been home two days with a new baby. Yeah. Absolutely no sleep, and yet he's still got to do, you know, his, mm. uh, his duties. Yeah. And maybe, maybe you're right, Alex, because there's some speculation. The odds have been slashed. Yes, it on could one be particular Prince name. Alexander. <gasps> What's the theory behind In, this? Because is his favourite <laughs> weather forecaster, Alex Merrick. Obviously, Merrick is. I know <laughs> that, that Prince William watches the programme. Um, he's a massive fan of my forecasting. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? And he just wants his son to be great. He wants his son to be like you. Yeah. I think he's not ice dancing. The, really re like. <laughs> the reason that you've um, got the heads up about that is... Well, because he was talking to uh, the, the Australian yeah, Commission Yeah, High Commission, yeah. And, um, yeah, he kind of dropped a massive hint that... Mm. You know, well, the Australian like High Commission... Have we got it? Have we got, got the massive hint? No. We oh, we have it. Oh, we don't have it. <laughs> the Australian High Commissioner, I think, said, uh, I think, Alex Sando. Alex would be a good guy. And he said, funny you should say that. Yeah, it's funny you should say that. But yeah, that's because that's the name we've been thinking of. But he then... didn't say that in the <laughs> tea. But then isn't the problem that George's middle name is Alexander? I'm sure uh, George has got Alexander in the middle name. Oh, yeah. So you might that's just have scuppered that out. So those people that went out and put money on it. Well, it could be George. Prince Benji. <laughs> I know, because Prince, it was, was born... George's yes, day, yeah. George's day. Yeah. Prince Tricky. Benji. Now, there's a great idea. Prince Benji. <laughs> Actually, do you know what? I've... It's not that Prince funny. Prince Benny. <laughs> that's what I'd like. It's quite funny. Are you a Is Benjamin, it? not a Benedict? I'm a Benjamin. I'm definitely Benjamin. I'm a Benny to my mates as well. <laughs> Are you? Are you? Yeah. We never call you Benny. No, exactly. Oh. That's my point. So, Alexander. Yes, Prince. So, I think it should be Alexander today, actually. Your Majesty. Yeah. Um, your Royal Highness. Um, yes, we do the Royal Forecast. Yeah, do something. By Sing Royal Appointment. <laughs> um, I need to do the forecast. Uh, yeah, so uh, today, it's going to be much like yesterday, actually. A real mix of sunshine and April showers. The heaviest of the showers will be further north. Uh, quick heads up, though, as you head into tomorrow, things will go downhill. Some heavy rain is on the way, so brollies will be at the ready. More on all of this as we head through the programme, of course. Yeah, and it's not just in Alex's imagination. He really did say it was a good name, and um, <laughs> it was funny that it had been mentioned. So we'll find that uh, little bit, uh, little clip, clip. And, uh, <laughs> and bring it to you um, a little bit later on on the programme. Now, at four minutes past six, our main news this morning. Um, as toddler Alfie Evans clings to life, the hospital that he is being treated in is under police guard amidst reports that staff have been subjected to intimidation and threats. In an open letter, Alder Hayes chair, Sir David Henshaw, said nurses and doctors had endured a barrage of abuse that had been hard to bear. Our correspondent, Juliet Dunlop, is there for us this morning. Good morning, Juliet. So, so sad that while this little boy is fighting for his life and his parents are campaigning for his release, the people treating him have been coming under fire. 